Hey, good morning, everybody. Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. Hope you guys are doing well. Another, another sunny, beautiful day here in Florida. Although, where I'm trying to get to today, there is some uh, projected rain in the forecast, a little bit. Uh, this video is going to be kind of an interesting one. This is more of a day in the life uh, of an RVer. Uh, I've got some things that I've got to take care of, so I'm going to run you through the exact system for how I hook up my smart car and my Harley on a tandem towed trailer. We're going to see how long it takes, how complicated it is for me now that I have better straps and everything, as well as we're going to start with something very interesting. I this brain's been working these last couple days. I got an idea. Check this out. Yeah, thanks for joining me everyone. I will be uploading this video with some Nomad Internet. Link below in the video description. As usual, let me show you what my idea was. Forgive the mess, I've still got a bunch of stuff to clean up, but um, I've been thinking, okay? I've got my uh, rear camera installed up there, which shows what's kind of going on. It shows me the bike. It shows me that the car is still physically here being towed behind the RV, but not a whole lot else. It doesn't show me what's going on specifically with the straps here on the dolly. And I got to thinking that this system came with two cameras. And up until now, I've simply not been using the second wireless camera. The second camera is already linked to the DVR up front. Uh, it's wireless, but it still does need power. So as you can see, I've got it plugged into a power station here for DC. And I'm just doing a couple little tests here, like, oh, I don't know. Let's sit it right there, pointing back this way. You guys see what I'm thinking? Let's go check it out up front. All right, so there's that dash cam. It's a seven inch dash cam with an antenna that goes to the back one. Let's get some ignition going here. Uh, that back one needs power, so I have to turn the lights on. Then this will power up, and there you go. I know it's kind of flickering on, on your end, but it's not flickering on mine. That's the view from the top, okay? So that's what I see. I can see the motorcycle. I can see that the car is still going to be behind me. But let's go ahead and switch this. First time I've done this. Oh my gosh, there's the view guys. So right there is where the wheels of the smart car will hook and hook. This view will allow me to constantly see that those straps are still connected to the car and the car is safe. I think there's one more view. Oh, that's cool too, the double view. Now we've got up top and then we've also got the close up and I may leave it right there. Unless I'm concerned, I can just tap it once I think or twice. Yep, and then go back to that view. This makes me feel a lot better. So now I just got to find a way to uh, mount it back there so it's safe. And how are we going to power it? Maybe that cord's long enough and it'll reach inside the door of the car. So the power station's in the car, right? Because I don't have power on the car. Once I put it into tow mode, that disconnects the battery. There is no DC. Although I do have power at the trailer lights. For now, we're going to use the power station for this trip. Let me go get this mounted up.
Ah, not, not quite done yet. Do one more thing, let me grab the keys. So Robert helped me figure this out because the Harley has an alarm and if these aren't close to the bike and the bike moves, the alarm will go off. If it's tilted, if it's trying to get started, so in the manual, there's a procedure similar to putting the car into tow mode. You have to put this into trailer mode, transport mode. And there's a way to do that. With key fob present, turn the ignition to ignition. Rock the engine off, run switch to off. With the assigned phone range, ignition from to ACC. Simultaneously press both. One, two, three. Got three flashes means we're in transport mode. A lot of work, guys. Whew. Oh, timer. Well, we're not even actually done, but 23 minutes from start to finish right now. It's a far cry from less than 60 seconds to hook the tow bar up to the car or to the bike. 23 minutes already. The camera system. I didn't want to permanently mount the camera just yet, so it's duct taped, but let's see if this reaches. All right, this is my system temporarily. Wire comes up through here to keep it from rubbing there. I've got some play here because this whole thing is going to swivel. You know, remember, this is going to swivel, so we'll just see how this works. One more step. I got to put the car into flat tone mode, which disengages the rear transmission so that you can tow it this way, and that takes about two and a half minutes. All right, about to roll out. Again, there's that view. There's that one. You can see see cool i'm gonna go to this one so i can see everything on the way out though let's try this that was a pain in the butt i'm just saying i don't like it straps still look somewhat tight but when i hit the brakes or accelerate you do see the car rock back and forth going 55 mile an hour in a 70. It is not a good feeling. It is so different than just the Blue Ox flat tow system. I am very thankful for that other camera, that other view. Yeah, I like that. But I'm gonna pull off this next friendly exit off ramp and check my straps. I did beat the rain, at least, and it hasn't sprinkled yet. Yeah, let's uh, check this one. I don't need gas or propane or water or anything, but find a place to pull off e either here on the off ramp or past the light on the on ramp. I'm gonna try for right here, just temporarily. Also gives me a chance to make sure that my lights and everything are still working. Flashers, yep. Yeah. Let's make sure they're working on here. Flashers, okay. Well, that's still tight. That's good. All right, that's promising. Let's see over here. Oh, see? All right, let me tighten this one up. It is, uh, it is windy out here at the coast. <clears throat> well, made it back. As for my plans moving forward here, uh, we do have some, do you call those, I don't know what you call them, people that are on boards and then they have those? <laughs> Wakeboarding, no, surfing, kite surfing. Kite surfing, that's what it is. There's a bunch of them over there. Uh, ironically, there is still a launch tonight, even though there are severe thunderstorms on the way. I've got the bike uh, covered up here. I've got the car unhooked for now. Uh, it, it held okay, but um, I'm gonna say something. And uh, for many, many months, we're gonna have to keep telling other subscribers and viewers that uh, you don't, you must not watch all Eric's videos because uh, he clearly he clearly already talked about this. So thank you for sticking till the end of the video. 
I have decided that I'm not gonna be traveling full time with the motorcycle and trailer. I have a place to store it here in Florida so that when I leave, I am just gonna have tater top behind the RV. We'll get back to Arizona where I've got Black Betty and my other Harley. But for the meantime, right now, I'm gonna keep traveling with this setup until I leave Florida, which it's starting to get humid and warm. So that may not be too far away, but anyways, not taking the bike with me after this. We covered that. Cool, cool. Wayne, what's going on, Wayne? It's RV Pepper Wayne over there. Howdy, here, buddy. <laughs> Little uh, blustery here, but uh, anyways, I'm going to pack everything up, see what happens tonight, and uh, Opie and, and Tara and I, we'll see you in a few days. Bye, guys. Whoop.